Hey guys, I'll know, and I'm going to show you how to basically have like a screen flow thingy, but using iMovie. So you see like my picture is in the screen recording that I made, and it's very simple to do it. So I was just showing that. Okay, so get started. You need to go to iMovie and make sure advanced tools is clicked. And once you have that, you're going to need to start a new project. Most times it's like that, the format, just switch it because it's more easier to use and it's easier to see the times. So now you need to record something. You can do that by going to QuickTime Player, right, left click, right click it and click new um, screen recording. But you see I'm already using it right now for my screen so I couldn't do it again. But you need to just record your screen, whatever you want to use. And once you finish on QuickTime Player, it's going to pop up with the preview, which I couldn't find mine because I was using it. So, so I just went mm -hmm. and found it where I was choosing it. So I open it. You just, I'm opening mine because it was, it's not here right now. So that's what it's going to look like when you're done with your recording. So you're just going to have that up and have it out to the side here. Okay. Now you need to import your sc screen recording, which will be in movies and it'll be on one of the screen recording things. So you just import it or it can be in movies on right there. So just import it. Mine's already imported. So there I just did a little recording of a screen right there. And now you need to take a video of yourself talking about it. Now, if you see, I can't go back and play the iMovie part because I'm on my screen recording. That's where the preview comes in. So have it up right beside you in the video. So now you're going to click capture, capture, and then immediately start your screen recording and start talking about it, like whatever you want to talk about with it. See mine, I didn't play it, but so now you just start talking, say I'm going to YouTube, um, look at my page, whatever, and just talk about it. Once you have, once you're done, you just click done, and it'll pop up with you talking about that screen recording. Now you're gonna select your screen recording and place it on the clip, not before on. And click picture and picture and you'll see you'll pop up right there just move yourself I'm just moving myself over a little so I start at the beginning of the clip so I'm gonna need that lengthen it a little and you see I'm right there up in the top right corner of my screen so now I can just move it wherever wherever you want size it and what whatever you want it to be so say you want it right there you want yourself right there in the middle while I'm saying I'm going into YouTube Okay, I'm in YouTube and now I'm like blocking the whole screen. So what you're going to want to do is find a spot where you want yourself to get smaller. And you'll see there's a red line going straight down. Keep it right there. And click up to edit and split clip. Now you have the second clip. And you can resize it again on the second clip and click done. See how I'm big? And then I move down to the bottom left. It's just not a smooth transition, but it does get yourself out of the way. You see? Um, yeah, so now you can choose to clip and modify it so it looks like in Ken Burns it's going towards the URL here to make it look more like a screen flow, you know. I didn't split the clip, so I'm, I'm doing, I need to do that right there. I want the split clip right there, so you go up, back up to edit. No, no, you go up to clip, split clip, and see. Make the second part you don't want of the Ken Burns fit the screen. So now if you watch it, it'll see you, and it'll be slowly moving around saying so YouTube. And now it goes back to full screen, just like how you would do in ScreenFlow. And you can see yourself talking about it, and it's practically spot on when you're talking about it because you were watching the preview of what it was. 
And then you can just add all this cropping and stuff, whatever you want. And that's basically how to do it. Just play around with it. And I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. And bye.